Hello everyone, welcome to another box opening video. In this video, we'll be opening a Dream Valley Sylvis, if that's how you want to say it. He arrived yesterday, July 18th, and I opened him today, July 19th, which is my birthday. And I ordered him in normal resin. I also ordered the uh, human calf parts with them because I want to use the human calves with the dragon body so that he'll be even taller. I ordered this from uh, Dream Valley's Taobao website and then had Dream Valley ship it to a shipping agent which is Biner and then Biner sent it to me. Now because of that I am not eligible for any broken part replacements so to speak. And that's a little bit of foreshadowing. And here we have his lance, which I had no idea he came with. Anyway, the reason why I ordered from Taobao is so I can get the human calf parts and human feet or whatever at a way lower price. I didn't want to spend an extra $100 on the calf pieces. And doing it this way, I only paid about $50 for the calf pieces and only $40 to ship it from Biner to me, which it would have cost about $40 to ship it to me within the United States if I bought it through a dealer. And the reason why I had Dream Valley ship it to a shipping agent is because Biner gets discounted rates on shipping because they ship so much. If Dream Valley shipped it to me directly from China, I would have had to pay over $100 to ship it to me. Did you get all that? Anyway, that was the human calf pieces and these are the human feet. And I only now remember that Dream Valley strings through dolls super tight. So putting these human caps on, which are longer, is a very ambitious undertaking that may not happen without restringing the doll completely. Well, the tail isn't broken, that's good. And luckily, the ears aren't broken either. I was really worried about the ears because they're so thin and they stick out. Okay, and here we have the body, which will be thoroughly checked for damage. Which it is. Let's see if you can spot it before I do. I made sure to check inside the wrist joints for that little piece of resin where the S-hook hooks onto because Dream Valley strings them so tight that the last doll just like ripped right through that during shipment. This time it appears to be A-OK. -okay. Now I was really worried about these wings because I was really struggling to um, pose and move them. And it turns out they wired them. This is the first company I have seen that actually pre-wires their dolls. It is at this moment I realize that he is indeed broken. It seems here lately I cannot catch a break when receiving dolls. They've just all been broken. At least I found his toe thingy. Look at me sticking it back on there like it's gonna fix itself or something. And I find out later he kind of needs his toe thingy to stand correctly. And look at me again, thinking I can pull this S hook up with my bare hands, please. Whoever strings these at Dream Valley has some bulging muscles. Even with pliers, I struggled. And that's all for this video. I gotta go email Dream Valley and buy another foot because it's not under warranty. Until next time.